was an, I, right. an IPA right. of some sort. <sighs> and uh, we're going to need the short Telecaster stool over here for you That's right. as That's well. Be the tallest boy in the, in the whole video. Chris is the tallest. Oh, gonna, tallest you know, I'll say this before the camera gets rolling. It's already rolling, so it's too late. Can Welcome. You to the revealing reveal of revealing the tallest boy on the whole podcast. You know, no one's gonna watch this. Is gonna, be, these guys are just dorking around. Yeah, they are. Yeah, but that's what we do. That's, I mean, that's why I came. Well, you're dorks. So what else? You Nerd. Got? Would you take my glasses? You know, I really do wish that I could hear your neck open. Just, just gonna throw them, but I don't. All right. Do that. <laughs> Welcome to uh, our nightmare Texas Toast live stream. Yeah. Are we go? Or is it five? Hey, everybody. This is Matt. Yeah. We're a Texas Toast guitarist, and if you've been watching lately, you might notice that there are some new guitars in the background. Yeah. And this is a cool thing that we are doing now. Every time we have a workshop, we can put the workshop guitars up on the. Uh, on yeah. The it we um we had to finish early because we all had to come over to the underground bunker. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Make, that's make right. the trip. Make the trip to the under underground bunker. That's probably in uh, notification that we're live. Ah yes. Okay. okay. So, but I think it's worth it making the journey over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Chris. So, uh, uh, what here's what's going to happen? Um, because everyone here is right-handed. Um. Dylan's going to stay where he is. Chris is going to stay where he is. And I'm going to evacuate this seat while each one of the members of the participants come up and show right. off their guitar. We can do it. So, yeah. Um, and while they're doing that, I'm going to get cases ready for everybody. But what do you guys, uh, what was, what, like, what, what do you want to talk about before? Well, so let's tell everybody what this class was, All right, what, what's involved. Uh, so this was um, this was Dylan's class. Go ahead, Dylan. Yeah, it really was. I mean, okay. This was uh, what, what was it called? Build something cool with Dylan. I don't remember. I, that I think is the exact title. Pretty yes. much the same yeah. thing. Make the best damn guitar you've Ultimate. ever seen with Dylan McCurchy. Yep. I don't see. I don't see an issue with the camera. Uh, someone it. says someone there's an issue with the camera. Looks fine to me. I think it looks great. Online, too you know, too much that. handsome on the camera. I think is the issue. Yeah. So uh, the idea was is that I came out here and we built this guitar, mm -hmm. these guitars, and they're really cool. And everybody got to learn how to wind pickups. Yeah. I yeah. will say, before we get started with introducing everybody, this was the most successful and immediately skilled class of gentlemen, if I could loosely use that term, uh, to learn how to wind pickups. They Nobody broke a wire once, not one time, which has never happened before. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 I said, hey, Dylan, can I wind a pickup? You said, no. No, I don't want to break the streak. No, Chris. So I have been asked by everybody in the comment section to, can everyone turn off the, if you're logged into Texas Toast Wi-Fi, can you unlog on? That would be great. So someone said that my internet sucks. Like, like I own the internet company. I, I, yep, this is my internet. I, yeah. It's all mine. Yep. Matt, Matt comes over to your house yeah. and runs the cable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the, you need to take that up with Xfinity. So, okay. So I don't know. Maybe so. Maybe if I expert, um, uh, and yeah, let it. Yeah, I've we've Dylan, done it. We've done everything we can do. We have. Yeah, we have. Include Plus. build five amazing guitars in, in five, five days. days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, these guys are really cool. They. They built some really neat stuff. I am, I've been to a bunch of these now, almost as many as Doug Santanello, mm -hmm. and um, I'm very impressed with the products that you see be behind us. Yeah, they are. There's some never before seen stuff. Mm -hmm. There is some uh, stuff that I was like, mm, and then it was like, ooh. you know, like that kind of reaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody did a great job. Um, mm -hmm. There was barely any stress. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I may have gotten irritated this afternoon slightly. Well, it's a good thing that it's a low stress week too, because we have yeah. another one of these starting mm -hmm. Monday. Yeah, that'll be more high stress. But yeah, no, we can do great. it. Um, yeah, and it was it was super fun, and it's always ha it's always having fun with Dylan. It's always a good 
time when you're here. Well, thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's always it's always fun when Dylan comes to town. Well, thanks. Well, you want to get some folks in yeah, here? Yeah, let's so show who's, who's up who's first? first? Looks like Everyone's Charlie is close. Yep. Chaluch. Yep. All right, Charlie, why don't you come over here? Yeah. I will grab your car and hand it to you. Chris, why don't you handle that? I can't remember the perfunctory questions. Well, so um, tell everybody who you are, where you're from. Charles Eccles from Kansas City, Missouri. Mm -hmm. And tell us a little bit about what you built. I built a batfish model. Which is uh, something that Dylan came up with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, with his humbuckers, the um, Enduros. No. Or no, they're single yours. Coils, they're but, yours. But they're yours. Your model. <laughs> yeah, and it's, so it's, I'm excited it's an to enduro, which is a uh, yeah magnetic slug, um, big humbucker size single coil. Yep. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool, very cool. What else is going on here? What else you got? So I walked. I, I'll just say I walked in the shop on Monday and I landed on a table with this piece of wood on it, and they said, "Pick your piece of wood," and I put my hands on it and didn't move. <laughs> so I was very excited about uh, building something with this piece of wood. Um, I, I like the switch up here. Uh, I think a lot Why of people you like take it that guitar there. and set the butt in right here and keep talking. There you go. Keep talking. Look how good it looks. Yeah. yeah. Works better over here. I wanted to do a transparent blue. So, uh, worked with Chris and he, he walked me through it. Uh, and you sprayed the burst. Uh, Everybody sprayed their bursts. Yeah. 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 yeah which is cool. I think I sprayed almost everything. You yeah, I, I did like the first lap on yeah. the back, and then you did everything else. Yeah. Sure. Speaking of that, this particular piece of wood is just so cool. Lots of character. Yes. Yeah. So to match cool. the character that owns it. Yep. What else about this thing? What else you got here? <coughs> hip shot tuners, hip shot bridge. Mm hmm. Yeah, roasted maple neck. Um, all the necks are really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. um, we used an oiled wax, which feels awesome. I can't wait to play it. Yep, uh, it'll just keep getting smoother too. Yeah, so yeah. that's cool. We did some arm contouring here. It looks like yeah. and yep, yeah, volume, volume, tone, uh, neck barrels. What was your favorite part of the build, and why was it winding pickups? <laughs> why was he using the pin router uh yes, <laughs> yes. We'll, we'll battle out shop to shop baby uh, i learned so much this week i think every piece of the build was my favorite awesome. i loved it i heard you say something it's about kind of it, a cop out. It, it it really is though i took so many notes home i built a few at home and i've learned so much more to make myself better at home awesome. for sure I, I heard you say something about wanting to come back uh, definitely coming back. Yeah, I hope you never drop this guitar. I think my wife's watching, so I'm coming back. Does she know you got another guitar? She yes, she does know well, I have another guitar. I'll take that one back, and we should talk about that while we're here. Here, because hand me hand me that one. He yes. also said while he was here, I need to own a Texas Toast guitar. 100%. Yeah. yeah. So he's taking home a... Level two. It's a level two ultralight. Yep. With uh, ooh, with a wood bound neck. Mm -hmm. a mahogany neck, which is um, unique for a level two. Mm -hmm. Maple binding. Yep. Um, people may re people may, may remember this guitar from such series as it got dropped and it's got some scratches on it. Um, but, yeah, but yeah. it's uh, it's cool. It's beautiful. It's got Dylan Tox tone pickups in it. Mm -hmm. These two right here. And I don't own a guitar. Well, I do now with P90s. So I'm excited to try those out at home. Awesome. This will be a fun comparison. These pickups and those pickups. That'll 100%. be a really fun, yeah. fun yeah. comparison Very to, cool. see, to yeah. see where they all lie. And two different scale lengths. He's got like two completely different animals here. In a lot of ways. Really yeah. neat. Yeah. 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 The ones cool. that we built this week, um, Dylan spec the next are 25 and a half inch scale. Um, yeah. Roasted maple. That's mahogany. Yeah. Super um, cool. Chris, someone actually sent me an email late last night about that ultralight wanting to know uh yeah what, was what, it? The, what the deal was with it and, I, and so joy sent him a link to the video yeah and then it's so yeah so you, you gotta if you snooze you lose yeah 
Yeah. You got to yeah. jump on them. Fifth grader looking at it earlier. So, yeah. 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 It's awesome. Cool. I'm going to trade you so you can hang this one back up. And then I will hang this one back up. Do we have any other questions for uh, anybody you'd like to you'd like to thank? All of you guys. Maybe just give me that. Put in the case. Like I said, I learned a ton. They're they're super cool here. Uh, I definitely recommend coming here if you're interested. Whether you've built several or you've built one, I learned a ton. I learned a ton, and I think we had people here of all different skill levels, uh, and we all learned a bunch. It's really cool. So. Yeah. What was your favorite part? Um, not in class. Hanging out, everybody is uh, cordial. We went to dinner Wednesday. We went to Matt's house last night and hung out. Uh, I got to see that Matt's bar is better than Jim's. Uh, oh, hopefully, oh, Jim's oh, watching. Oh. We were supposed to go and we didn't get to. So, <laughs> uh, lots of great people coming in the shop. Uh, people come in and out all the time, and they're all awesome. So, yeah, cool, excellent. Yeah, thanks, well, thank man. thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next, Tim. You're standing right there. You want to come up? Sure. Here it comes. Here comes Jim's guitar. Here we go. There you go. So, um, yeah, tell us your name, where you're from. Tim from uh, Franktown, Colorado here. And I went with a black and gold motif. Uh, kind of a T-style guitar here, as you can tell. Although, tell us, tell us a little bit about the the modifications to the body. Some of some of your yeah. original ideas so, and what you ended up doing. So, what I one of the things I did, I, I did put the forearm bevel on, but mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but I shifted it more uh, toward the headstock of the guitar than a, a typical standard arm bevel because that's where mine falls. Also, what I did. And I don't know if you can tell or if it shows up, but I made the body just a little bit smaller, maybe a sixteenth all the way around, so maybe a total of an eighth. Sixteenth, and then well, and I think and then, I think through up through the butt here, it's even narrower than that. It, yeah, it could be. It might be um, an eighth on each side. I uh, on the back side, I didn't do a belly carve, but I did do a uh, contour around here that was a little bit uh, more of a contour than uh, the typical around the front. Everywhere else on the tail, I kind of took it from about here. Up to about here, and then mm -hmm. blended it in. Just like softened it a little. Yeah, bit. softened yeah, it because this yeah. always kind of cuts into me. But I didn't really want need the whole belly carved. Maybe next time. Oh, there's one here too. I mm -hmm. also I also carved this uh, part right here out just a little bit more because that always is digging into my ribs. So I'm just kind of <coughs> carving it out just for me as well. And I think it turned out pretty well. Yeah. It's, Tell this us is, that, what's the inspiration between behind uh, just one pickup. You know, I find myself playing on the neck pickup a lot oh, anyway. Yeah. Okay. And I thought I would just, uh, first of all, I thought it looked cool. I don't see a lot out there. You know, the other's been done a mm -hmm. lot. Yeah. And, uh, you know, since it's my guitar and I'm doing it for me, I'm making all these little appointments. And a lot of it is just trying new things. Yeah. Can I do it? Yeah. yeah. What, what's this going to do? How's mm -hmm. it going to look? How's it going to play? Yeah. And I don't know if it shows up either on camera, but this also has a conversion neck on it. So this one's actually only 24 and three quarter scale. Mm -hmm. And it also, it has gold frets. I don't know if that's showing up too well. That definitely doesn't show up. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah, it's got gold frets. It's got gold hardware. Um, yeah. 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 You, Pretty cool. You, uh, you, you spec the neck um, cool. kind of separately. It's got all the Dylan appointments as far as the spoke wheel truss rod. Mm -hmm. But it you wanted a three and three headstock. Yeah. Um, and uh, so... Uh, I started out with just a flat paddle headstock and wanted to come up with a shape. I went with the PRS ish shape, uh, pretty much. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of like the shape. I wanted to come up with something a little different, but yeah, I, just, I didn't have anything in yeah. my head, so I just used that. Tell us about those uh, tuner buttons. <laughs> you like those? I do. Yeah. Um, those, so they're hip shot those tuners. Have divided the the shop. Yeah, those are hip today. shot tuners. You know who your friends are. I know now. And the tuner buttons, they're Good locking. Friend, they're locking hip shot tuners. The tuner buttons are also yeah, so, hip shot. So kind of tilt it down a little bit. Can you see? Yeah, there, there you, you go. go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So the tuner buttons are, uh, they're also hip shot. You they can, call them. And I think they call the them industrial. industrial yeah, I think. it's just a barrel. Yeah, it's knobs. just a knurled barrel, which kind of goes with the knurled knobs down here that I went with. I don't know. Don't again, skin your knuckles. Uh, again, it's just smoke. about trying something new. These things, you can swap them off and put whatever you want on there. So we're just starting with that and see what we go with. And Matt, I think you could take these knobs and put them on your shaper. 
They would probably. They look like that new shaper bit he got. I don't know. I don't know what he has these either. Trim the excess off on Tim's knobs. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And uh, enduro pickup in the neck. Yeah, uh, that I wound here with Dylan's help and some gold trim around that as well. Hip shot bridge. It's pretty you know, sick, man. You know, I so since the, the the pickup is in the neck and it's a single pickup guitar and it's all gold hardware, I have I have affectionately dubbed this guitar the Telly Senior. <laughs> Outstanding. It's awesome. I'm digging it. It's I just love it's, it. it's different. And uh, I think that's what a lot of this is about. This is my third class. Yeah, tell us um, um, uh, your, some of your yeah. favorite parts of this class versus the other parts. You know, I, I learned stuff on every class. I did uh, more. I, I, I really did all the soldering this time, and I, mm -hmm. I felt more comfortable with it. Last time was my first time doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is so. This is the second time doing it. I, I and I feel pretty good about it now. I think I did a better job cleaning up the, doing the fret work than I did, you know, in the past. So every time I get here, I learn something else and I'm already trying to figure out what to build on the fourth class at some point in the future. So, yeah, man. Cool. So yeah. uh, what was your favorite? Well, you just talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, anybody you'd like to thank? I'd like to say hi to my pretty wife standing right over there, just on the edge of the bunker. Mm -hmm. Is there enough room for her to fit? Yeah. Hi, yeah. yeah. pretty wife. That's hi. about it. All she right. Well, she has to join up this week. Awesome. That's right. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Appreciate right. it. At the end. Yeah. Who All else right. we got? Who's next? Grant standing there. Yeah. Get him over here. This works awesome with these guitars hanging behind. It really this does. Is, yeah. This is I don't super have to bring cool. them up or anything like that. Yeah. So tell us who you are, where you're from. Grant from Fayetteville, Arkansas. And uh, tell us a little bit about what you built. Yeah, so the Batfish model <clears throat> um, did a couple of little modifications to it. Um, wanted to go with the um, clean front, so no pick guard, no control plates or anything like that. Mainly for the difficulty of it. It's real hard to figure out how thick the the wood should stay right in here. Um, and then the, the routings in here are obviously more difficult than having a pick guard. Then went with the back and a little bit of a, a neck cut, and which meant that I had to reshape my neck a little bit. And um, opens you up for all sorts of other things, right? Like, like where do I put the ferrules? Where does this go? Does this hit a fret? Does that hit a fret? Yeah, so so my goal for this in this class is to, to challenge myself to those difficult things. And uh -huh. why I had some great coaches to help me out. Uh, and... I, I thought that I would be challenged for the, the wood here, but it was nicely CNC'd for mm -hmm. me, so I didn't have to do that, which was great. And then the the last challenge here, was, which was more for, for Chris than me, but I've got a little uh, switch right here that, that makes it go uh, series parallel. And, and mm -hmm. so earlier in, in the live chat, you may have heard uh, Chris got a little upset. Well, that was definitely from doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am not I'm not familiar enough with that wiring to be able to just pull it out of my head and, and do yeah. it. So and we, we yeah. Um and it it mostly works. Yep. It it's, does uh, well yeah. It actually has so an extra feature. It does. It's got a kill switch. It's got a kill switch built yeah. in. Yeah. It's cool though. It's, yeah. It um, sounds neat. So so winding pickups, what'd you think about that? It was both easier and ex much harder. Than I thought. So, so the winding itself is is more about paying attention and not being distracted, which which I'm easily distractible. Um, but the the complexity of everything, like the the technical aspect of it, is the the part where I'm like, I got to leave it to Dylan. This guy, <laughs> like, like he gets it, and, and I don't. Um, just adding just a couple more winds or adding the difference in the tension with your fingers changes the entire sound of the pickup. And so it, it's just, if you don't do it all day, every day, then, then maybe you should just buy from Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. But now you got to do it. Yeah. 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 So tell us some of your uh, favorite parts of uh, the workshop. So the fretwork was something that I was really interested in. So, so I like to woodwork as a hobby. This is the fourth guitar that I've built with the first three unsupervised but i used a lot of matt's videos to help me out 
Um, so the, the general woodworking piece was, it, it was neat to use the pin router. I don't have a pin router at home. It was neat to see some of the tools that they had that I, I may not have or a different methodology of doing it. Um, but the fretwork, uh, that's the piece that I've never really been exposed to. And just uh, the last guitar that I built at home, I just took it down to the local luthier and had him do the fretwork for me. <laughs> well, there you go. Good. <laughs> Won't have to do that again. No now more. you know how to do it. Yeah. What? I said no more. No more. Yeah. Uh, anybody you'd like to thank? Yeah. So I've got uh, two kids that are almost three and almost one at, at home. And so my lovely wife <laughs> de decided to painstakingly take care of the two youngins by themselves. And, and my mom came up to, to help her out. Um, as well so so the two of them for sure and then and also um i can't thank chris enough for for bearing with me on the the, the wiring <laughs> i i feel like i let you down on that so. no 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 we did exactly like dylan's wiring diagram well <laughs> yeah but i but i got i got all irritated and pissed off <laughs> <laughs> Hope I didn't say anything too offensive. Well, you didn't grab it and throw it across the room. Oh no, that wouldn't have happen. been done. No, 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 that was not a yeah Hulk smash moment. But but it was a little disappointing after all that because it it was three times the wiring of of just a, a mm -hmm. standard kind of a thing, right? At and, least, yeah. yeah. And then and then the brain damage that it caused. <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah. So I apologize. I apologize. But uh, yeah, it was, cool, it man. was a good class and great guitar. Hope you hope you enjoy it. Yeah, hope you don't accidentally run into the kill switch. <laughs> exactly. Purposefully run into the kill yeah, switch. Yeah, yeah. Mid solo. Tom Morello thing. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, thanks, Grant. Cool. All right. All right. Let's get here. He comes. Let's... Hey, ask Grant who cuts his hair. <laughs> <laughs> who cuts your hair, Grant? Oh, uh, my hair was well, You crazy. just grab no yours since it's yeah. right there. Right. Makes sense. Excellent. All right. So I'm tell us, everybody. Hey. Tell us who you are and where you're from. Who am I? I am Rick Nelson from Kaiga Falls, Ohio. And this is my modern take on a Telecaster, I suppose. That's the best I can come up with. Yep. So tell us a little bit about what's going on with this bad what's boy. What's going on? Oh, it's so it's mostly lot. so it's mostly it's it's Telecaster shaped. Yeah, it's a uh, but okay. So you look at it and it's a Telecaster body shape. It's a Telecaster control plate. Yeah, you know maybe the bridge, whatever headstock, that type of stuff. So it, it kind of screams Telecaster in a certain way, but it has a lot of a lot of other features. It has body contours like a strap you see this lower horn yeah it's uh, got half inch round over all the way around mm -hmm. yeah we did yep. uh we did some work on the neck pocket so there's a, a smooth transition yeah so yeah you, you've got a, a sculpted Very, uh neck neck am i heel. showing this right yep. yeah, yeah, it's yeah it looks great it's you perfect. got a you got a yeah, belly so contour you got a forearm contour on belly it. Car, yeah, yeah. forearm contour yeah uh yeah really really slick neck i like the way this feels yeah they feel really good it'll uh, get Smoother string too, through on the, uh, string on the string body, which hip is shot, uh, hip shot bridge. something I wasn't expecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hip why shot, why my... three pickups? That's Matt's no, idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool though, you know, because uh, we were I was using the pen router and I actually almost messed this up because uh, the templates it's the stencil for three pickups. So you put it in the wrong hole. And I, and I started doing. He's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't do that!" But uh, we fixed that, finished it up, and then he was like. Is your last chance to do a third pickup, and I was like, uh, okay. And it turned out to be a great idea. So, uh, got an extra pickup yeah. off of Dylan. I think that is mm -hmm. his right here. Mm -hmm. So, I wound these two. Mm -hmm. Excited to hear what they sound like. Yep. Cool. Um, so, <clears throat> what were some of your favorite parts of the week? Oh, man, all of it. Uh, Besides pickups. hanging out at, at Outpost. <laughs> Dude, I mean, that's what I mean. Like, just the whole thing was cool. It was cool to, uh, it was cool to meet everybody. It was cool to, you know, you know, learn the experience from people that are that are in the know. You know, the the finish work. That's uh, that's a big. It's something I know nothing about. The pickups, something else I know nothing about. I see a pickup winder in my future for sure. <clears throat> that's awesome. Uh, yeah, definitely. That's uh, awesome. I was already toying with that idea, but you know. 
And that was kind of what this class was about. I wanted to get my feet wet and know if that's something I would even, you know, if I completely botched it, maybe it'd be a bad idea to spend the 600 bucks. <clears throat> anyway, uh, all of it, just all of it. Everybody's really cool. We had a good time, dinners, drinks, Matt's play, you know what I mean? It's just been, it's been fun all the way around. Everybody, yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Anybody you want to say hey to? Uh, just some friends and family back home, whoever happens to watch this. You know, yeah. you could turn them on to it too and just go, Hey, I was on, I was on this thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Go, Trust me, I'm going to be yay. talking about this for a long time. Yeah. Now, good. For a long time. Showing it off. Very cool, man. Well, it was Thanks, great man. having you. Yeah. Well, I appreciate and you. did you guys a great job me. and it looks really cool. So. You know, and it was cool to, to come and thank you guys in person also for all the, you know, the information and the experience that you guys share. Yeah, every once in a while you, you, you pull out like a like like something we said in an old, old, mm -hmm. old video. I was like, wow, he's watched them all. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah. yeah well, I was it's, thinking it's, that too because I, I, I kind of sat with my pickup pointing yeah. thing across from you all yeah. week and you were like, remember there's one video when you said that? I'm like, wow. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, that's and, cool. Thanks, man. And that's what I mean. You know, I got to sit across from you and we're – you know, we were talking hobbies a bit. We had drinks at the you know mm -hmm. bar the other night, kind of talking trash behind the scene, you know, mm -hmm. whatever that type of thing. Go to Matt's place. You know, that was very nice for him to invite us out. Got to meet Jim Jam Jimmy, Brian Duncan over there. He looked over my shoulder and made, made sure I didn't mess anything up too bad. You know, it's been a really, really, really good time. I'd really like to come back. Well, good. Awesome. I hope you can come back. Yeah, cool. it'd be great. So, Thanks, man. All righty. Excellent. Well, cool. I think that's it. Nope, we got to sell the white one. Oh, yeah. Well, you can come oh, over and grab it on your way in. <clears throat> I left my, were optimizing. I left my glasses here. So when I went back, I was on my phone and I'm like looking at my, because I can't see. Oh, it looks like phone. Leo Fender up there. Yeah, plus yeah, is that Leo Fender? Every over picture there? of Leo Fender, he had one of these on him. So, so we have a super chat from Doc who says, "Post class tacos and beer fun." Oh, God bless you, Doc. That's mighty kind of you. I if my glasses are here. I think Leo had glasses and and an optimizer. optimizer. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things that we do uh, at just about every workshop is we build, uh, we build along with. This thing is so white. It's like you can see the grain on this. I don't know if you can you see it on your camera. No, not really. It's kind of blown out. So yeah, it, it's totally blown out. But you can actually see the grain on this one. Yeah, it's not white. It's, and it's um, blonde. Yeah, I. You know what I forgot to do? Dang it! I forgot to put this up on sale on the website. Oh, that's okay. So it might. So, Doug might buy it before it goes up on the it website. It might. He might. So. Yeah. so so um so this is just kind of a very basic like Esquire that uh, that we did. Um, in conjunction with the uh, the workshop, and it's uh, you know swamp ash body with a contour here, which you can't see because of the. Yeah, there you, you go. See it. There you go. Um, a uh, uh, one Dylan uh, Telecaster bridge pickup. Mm -hmm. It's got Esquire wiring, which so this is all the way. No this bypass the, tone. Nope. This is the that neck kind of bassy tone. Okay. This is volume and tone. Tone control Normal. works. And, and then this that's like a bypass. Bypassing. Mm -hmm. the jump, Straight so. to the jack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Baby. Um, and this one has a roasted maple neck with a rosewood fretboard, ash body, uh, durable thin finish, just like in the workshop. And this could be yours. So mm -hmm. if anyone's interested in this one, I'm, I'm willing to wheel and deal on this one. What do you think, Chris? I have no idea. I'm going to say, I'm going to say if anyone wants this one, $9.99. Okay. Boom. Out the, just send me an email and let me know if you want it. But um, yeah. yeah, so it's uh, it's it's probably one of the only Texas Toast daily drivers that you'll you'll see for a while because mm -hmm. we're not making we're not making daily drivers. Isn't days. there an optional uh, tortoise pit guard for that, or is it going oh, with no pit guard? No, well, yeah, yeah. So it'll come with a with a tort pit guard, the Esquire tort okay. pit. I ordered it; it just didn't show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, uninstalled. You, you can, can decide if you want to put it on there. You can not. put it on if you want. I'm, I'll actually put it up on the website. So yeah. There so no, no cool. sweat. So um, everybody got uh, 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 Brad Guitar Miller made us some Texas Toast uh, alumni stickers. So everybody's got one of those. Everybody got one of those. We're going to be shipping. Stick it up. We're shipping two guitars. And uh, uh, I'm assuming that Tim is taking his guitar. Your case is over there, Tim. And uh, Chaluch, I got two cases for you over there. Your other guitar is in there right now. 
Um, so because the Dylan workshop is the only workshop that a case was included. Mm -hmm. We've never done that before. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Very so, cool. Yeah. Um, thank you. Speaking of it being a Dylan workshop, thank you for coming, letting me come out again. This mm -hmm. was really fun. Mm -hmm. I love doing these. They, this, this one was really, really yeah, fun. This, was fun. this particular fun. one was really fun. I really enjoyed it. It was, uh, I mean, they're all fun. I could say that probably about all of them, but, um, uh, no, I, I'm just really impressed. You know, these, uh, you know how you say every once in a while, somebody will pick a, every, well, let's just say this. Everybody picked a good color, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Uh, everybody sanded just enough. Everybody finished just enough. Yep. Everybody, uh, ended up with smooth frets. Everybody mm -hmm. ended up with. Nobody filed off their tuner or did any kind of crazy things <laughs> like that. Stuff like, happens. Yeah, yeah there was do. no real big, uncorrectable mistakes. Oh no! You know, no. and it was great. It was it was really nice. It was really great. They did a good yep. job. What um what do you so you know uh, some of your friends are coming out in May. Yep. Uh, what what's the chances of you uh, swinging by for an afternoon or two in May? Do you think, Dylan? Brad Guitar Miller sent us a super chat too that says, cool guitars, everyone. Welcome to the alumni. So that's very kind of Brad. Uh, I didn't mean to I, put you on the you spot, know, but I did uh, give you five May, seconds to, you know. Yeah, uh, we'll have to see about that. Suitable answer. We'll have to see about that. Yeah. Okay. that. That might be a thing. Doc's going to be here. Gary's mm -hmm. going to be here. Uh, Doc's bringing his nephew. Oh, cool. I believe. So, or is that, Doc's bringing a relative. I, I think it's nephew. I, okay. I, I, I could okay. have it wrong, but yeah. All right. Um, so that'll be fun. Do you accommodate left-handed folks, or is yes. everything all right? No, uh, every <laughs> all that, of the right-handed players get a right-handed guitar, and all of the left-handed players get a left-handed guitar. That is true. And if you don't see a left-handed guitar here, it's because there are no left-handed players now in uh, this particular class. However, if someone asks for left-handed stuff, I always say, just be right-handed. And Chris says, no, Matt, you can't do that. So I believe so Leslie is in the comments that's right now not being true. nice. Yeah, saying yeah, 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 yeah. That yes, yeah. they do. We absolutely yeah, in fact, yes. Yeah, we've done several left-handed guitars in in uh, workshops. Including so. NBA superstar David Robinson. That's exactly right. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So left-handed, no problem. No problem. Same price, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. In yeah. fact, and actually And uh, choice of color. Which is never a thing in the left-handed world. It's never a thing in, in uh, it, it was never a thing at Roberto Venn back in 1989. Yeah. It was, it's not a thing at MIT in Nashville because everyone does an oil finish. Um, it's not a thing in a lot of five-day workshops. And, and, uh, and so I, that was something that Chris and I, when we started doing this, what, four years ago, mm -hmm. we wanted to make sure that everybody got to at least choose a color. Yeah. Not, and, and not the Henry Ford model, any color you want, as long as it's natural wood, tone, yes, which, which is fine, but yeah. yeah. And that but, extends to most of your models that you can buy as well, right? Mm -hmm. Like and we have lots and lots and lots for of left handed options. for left handed yeah. players too. You know, yep. you're not stuck with the normal Fender black, white, and red is yep. all you get as yep. a left hander. Yep. Yeah, or whatever. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yep. So okay. all right. All right. Do you have any other questions nope. on your, I think that's your it. page, Dylan? I, I think, think we're it. I think we're done here too. Um, so yeah, anyway, gang, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks yeah. for everyone who came out to the workshop and thank you to everyone watching at home for letting us have Grant and Rick and Charlie and Tim and, and Brian Duncan too. Brian Duncan has been like here all week long yep. doing all the stuff nobody wanted to do. And thank you to my, Primarily, wife, my wife and daughter for letting me oh, be gone. I wouldn't well, get to that yeah. part yet because oh, you yeah. didn't chase any squirrels. But yeah, squirrel wrangler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I filmed it. Yep. It will be making an appearance uh, on Dylan Talks Tone in a video uh, early next week. You will see the squirrel incident. Squirrel wrangling. Yeah. So thank you. Squirrel thank you to everybody who came out. And thank you to everyone back home for letting us have um, uh, everyone I mentioned and Dylan too. Oh, yeah. And you too, Dylan. So, Thanks. Anyway, uh, so uh, we will uh, we're going to call it a day. Let's uh, let's get the weekend started. Happy Easter, everybody. And we will see you next time.